Okay, this is James P. Madonna, the Mega Life 21 Progressive Discussions. This is better than the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This is the uh, Friday afternoon Royal Hibachi Lunch Buffet Walk of Fame. And uh, here's Walmart and Modell Sporting Goods. And then the rest, these jabronis have eyeball problems. I better stop staring, I'm gonna have to smack them around. Okay, here it's raining, which means I'm going to be in the mood for seafood, eating lots of seafood. All right? Yeah, they don't listen to me. They're still putting the, the damn bamboo in the window. They know, I, they know that bright sunlight kills bamboo. Or Draxinia, should I say. They turn yellow, they die. No, they don't listen to me. These jabronis don't listen to me. At the Dollar Zone, one of my favorite dollar stores. Sally Beauty Supply. Yeah, right. They plastered the cosmetics on like it was spackled, like they were spackling a wall. Frank's Pizza. Like they're spackling a wall. The poor guy meets a girl. He doesn't even know what she looks like until, uh, until he wakes up with her on a Sunday morning. Cricket. Cricket. What a ripoff. Good thing I went with T-Mobile. Good thing I went with T-Mobile. They went from like $30 a month up to $50 a month for the same plan, like in one week. Okay, here we go, Royal Hibachi. Here we go. I'm entering Royal Hibachi Grill, 246 West Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Got that, jabronis? Okay, I'm entering now. I'm entering, let's see what's in store for me. I hope there's a lot of mariscos. I hope there's a lot of friggin' mariscos. There we go. How was the place? Packed? Not too bad. I don't know. The car, the parking lot is sure is packed. Okay, here we go. Royal Abachi Grill, 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Let's see what we got in store. Hey, there's the sushi. Uh, uh. Oh, look at that. Oh, look what I'm look at what I'm staring at now. Commodore Jeff Zambello. I need a, I need a, um, I need a dish. Look how far I gotta go for a plate. You believe this? Look how far I gotta go. Let's see. Oh, there's the, there's the old cock dribble. Uh, Bouillon base, Commodore Jeff Zambello, Zup, Zupa de Pesh, whatever you want to call it. What do we got here? Oh, sh shish kebabs. That looks like maybe tilapia. All right, you know what? Let me, you know, unfortunately, if that's tilapia, I'm going to end up with another turf and turf. Turf and turf. Look at, look at all these tongs. They're all in here. What's going on here? You got clams. How the hell did clams get on the duck? Oh. What the hell's going on here? Unbelievable. Succulent duck. Look at this. Duck drumsticks. Quack once, quack twice. The quacker. Remember the quacker? Oh, that's the clapper. Jeff Sambello on Christmas time. You see the old, the old bag that probably died decades ago, advertising the quacker. I mean the clapper. All right, succulent duck. All right, let me see if I'm able to uh, procure surf and turf, or do I have to procure turf and turf? I don't know, the beef kebab might be a little tough. Oh, I'm wrong. It's not tilapia, Commodore Jeff Zambello. It is flounder filet. Ooh, filet au flounder. Look at that. I am getting a surf and turf after all. Royal Abachi, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Oh, I guarantee, but you know, I hear that sound. I hear that sound. You know what that means? Time for Mongolian barbecue. Oh, here we go. Look at that action. Look at that steam. Yeah, I know. I know. I just, I think, 
embellish and exaggerate. But when he puts the sauce on, then it really kicks up the, the aroma. Yeah, I just do it for, for the internet and for the owner. Oh look, they got the lamps on. Oh, I love those Turkish lamps. Look at them. Better than any American lamps going. Hey look, he's got the lamps on. Look at that. It's a miracle. Yeah, I have those lamps for my house. You do? I wonder if the owners can, can, can sell them. I wonder if he can get any. Amazon? Maybe Amazon? Yeah, eBay, 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 Yeah, because if you get them from a retailer, you're going to pay top dollar for those lamps. Yikes. No, there's no genie inside if I rub it, right? Listen. Listen, a friend of mine put a banner. If you only had one wish, where would it be? Everybody was saying, oh, a Ferrari, I want a mansion, I want this. You know what I said? I wish for more wishes. And the, and the genie's name is Aloysius. Yeah, because I went to my friend got the I go to the picture on Instagram. Right. Your cousin has a Lamborghini? Yeah, he's part photographer. He also works in jewelry, which you make a lot of bucks now. Oh, great. What's what's his business? He much, his family. They I mean, his business name. They call themselves the Ocean and House of Diamonds. Ocean House of Diamonds? Yeah. They run, they've been running this jewelry shop for like oh, wow. years. Now I'm thinking of that old song, Diamond Girl, from the 1980s. Yo, my diamond girl. Yeah, he basically works really tough for a weekday, weekday, weekend. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, you know, you can't go wrong Amazon, you know, especially when when it's free shipping. Always look for free shipping. Yeah. I have a friend that, uh, in Shank. Yeah. But remember, if you do, if you do, you do see a genie, you always ask for more wishes. Unlimited, there you go. Okay, you, you just educated me. Unlimited wishes. Yeah, what's your first wish? Unlimited wishes. What's your second wish? Unlimited wishes. Third wish, the same. So Genie's gonna probably get pissed off. The Genie's gonna, gonna self-destruct. He's gonna have a meltdown. Okay, there we go. The sauce is on there. He's cutting up the, um, I guess it's beef. No lamb over there, right? Beef. No, armadillo? What about ig iguana? What about I've had alligator tail in uh, in the Florida. At a, I took a airboat in the Everglades, the Seminole Indians, I, and it's... There you go, finished product. Look at that, man. Now that's what you call me. That's bomb. Mongolian barbecue. All right, let me out of here. Now it's time for me to get my lemons. But before I get my lemons, I think, I, I think I'm gonna need a bowl for the lemons. What the hell's going on? There's the old crawdads, right? All right, yellow bowl. Yellow bowl. To match the color of the lemons, unless it's limes, which it'll still kind of color coordinate. I guarantee they're putting out more food. They gotta bless their hearts. Hey, ice cream is here. Hey, baby. Ice cream, here's the squish squash. Squish squash is here. Yeah. Alright, you know what? Let me put my turf and turf down. Oh, look what I got. This is coconut battered fried shrimp. Ah, it, it, it made a comeback. Take a few of those coconut battered shrimp. I hope they. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the uh, super deluxe seafood salad, which might be there or, or maybe after 3 p.m. you know I'm not talking to myself though you know people people are like uh, I swear there's no 
I'm not saying all of them are like that, but there's no bigger Carvone, uh, ill-mannered, rude Carvone than a millennial. But, you know, some of them, like the kid I was talking to was very nice, very nice young man. Usually the millennial females are, uh, they got a real asshole bitch of a, of an, of a personality. The dudes are fine. Ice cream. Did they fix that handle yet? Probably not. No, they didn't fix it. There it is. The hoop is still there. Wonderful. Unbelievable, huh? Unbelievable. All right. Now we have some very nice turf and turf. I mean, uh, surf and turf, right? Lots of succulent roast duck, coconut batter shrimp, and fresh. Um, broiled flounder filet. Now let me get my steak knife. Let me get my steak knife. <clears throat> and then I'll go get my lemons. Okay, let me get my lemons. Okay, I'm stuck with limes. No, no mojitos, no margaritas, just the limes. Unfortunately. Fucking, fucking Calvon. Here's the Calvon that didn't laugh at my jokes. She was, she was taking limes. You know what I gotta say about people, about the people now? That don't have any social uh, skills. They go. You know what they can go do, Jeff Zimbello. All right, let it be limes, you know? I'll adapt. Limes are not bad. It's good for my water. Okay. Um, okay, I'm done. I'm ready to go. I don't know. Every time I leave the house, there's always somebody that annoys the crap out of me. With your ill-mannered uh, behavior. <clears throat> oh boy! Yeah, people are really, yeah, <clears throat> really like overly paranoid and suspicious in my area. It's ridiculous. I don't know if it's a nationwide thing in America or what, but. You know, there are people that'll talk to you like that fine gentleman by the Mongolian barbecue, uh, the young man, friendly, you know? And then there are people that, um, that simply will not talk to you because they don't know who you are or maybe they're just not naturally friendly. I like to smack them, I like to bitch smack them around, <clears throat> you know? Sicilian style, if you know what I mean. Give them the old back of my hand, the old knuckles across the chops. Okay, I scream. There we go. Royal Abachi. Let's see if it's still raining out. Is it still raining out? Yeah, that's still raining out. People are pissing me off already. I'm telling you right now, they got eyeball problems. The eyeballs are going to be knocked right into their brain if they don't stop it. Oh, I gotta love this hard ice cream station with those multicolored flashing LED lights. Gotta love it. Look at it, look at the beauty of it. Soaking that, soaking that cosmic energy. In the background, you on the right, you see the sushi bar. To the left, the Mongolian barbecue. Look at that. Bronies, you're blocking the beautiful LED lights. You're blocking the LED lights. Let 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 my viewers relish and enjoy and soak in the high technology of multicolored flashing LEDs at the ice cream station. Okay, round two, Commodore Jeff Zambello. I have, I have a different approach now to this uh, bouillabaisse. I'm going to put the 
these uh, delicious uh, seacock clams and shrimp, right? Well, maybe, you know what? Maybe, maybe I don't, you know what? I probably don't, I don't need the soup bowl, to be honest with you, because look how thick it is. Look how thick it is. I might, I might not need the soup bowl. Okay, you know what? Last week it was like soup. I was gonna put the broth in the bowl, but apparently because of the onions and whatever additional ingredients he has in here, it could be crab meat. I don't really need. Is a muscle. I don't really need to put the broth in a soup bowl. All right. All right, that's that. I know I dirty the soup bowl for nothing, but there's some whiting. Whiting is like like peasant fish. It's like like po man fish, po man. You know. I could get one though. Now, as far as the beef goes, I don't know how tender this is. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's a little well done. It feels a little well done. I just squeeze them with the, um, you know, the tongs. You, you can't really help it because they're sitting there being kept warm and then they slowly become well done and then they become perhaps dry, a dry well done, a tough well done, unless they start off being tough beef. But I hear a Mongolian barbecue action, brother. We got Mongolian barbecue action. There we go. With the sauce and everything look at that the shrimp got some beef on the side i see uh, red bell peppers me. mushrooms What's that? What's that? Okay, there you go. Nice smell, nice flavor. Look at the steam kicking up on the griddle. Royal Hibachi Mongolian Barbecue. Alright, there's one plate. That's done. Alright. We got another one coming in the raw. That's our dish is done. All right. Cleaning the old Gorilla Grill with the official uh, restaurant quality Gorilla Grill scraper. All right, there goes a fresh one. There you go. Made to order. Okay. There goes his whatever, oil, sauce, whatever he puts. Gotta love it. Gotta love that sound, that sizzling sound. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There you go. There's the steak. Yeah, this is official play-by-play -play Mongolian barbecue action happening right now, right before your eyes. Oh my god, this, this woman sure is a nag. She sure is a nag, man, I tell ya. I don't know if it's a po post-menopausal thing or not, but she sure is a nag. There's a little chicken. A little, a little bagac, boneless chicken breast. There he goes, flipping that around, man. Now he's gonna be, probably gonna be cutting up the beef soon. But she wanted the beef to be well done, which is all right. It's her, her choice. Well, look at this, we got a, a full sushi bar. I see unagi over there, man, and white tuna. I see unagi over there, roasted eel. You know what? Hopefully when I come back, there'll be more left.
sure is a lot of succulent shrimp in there. Cameroons. King Kong Cameroons. Got some King Kong Cameroons going there, man. Reminds me of the old Benny Han of Tokyo restaurant when I was a kid back in the 1980s that was popular. Hibachi Grill. Benny Han of Tokyo. Here comes some sauce. Yeah, yeah. Some hot sauce. That's it. That'll that should punish her from, from being a nag. Put extra hot chili peppers on there. I guarantee. All right. Can't be beat, man. This this action can't be beat. It, this is this is a sporting event, as far as I'm concerned. Right, Commodore Jeff Zambello. For people that love and appreciate good food, we live to eat, Commodore. We live to eat. We live to eat. Oh, she's nagging him again. To, Oh, she wanted him to cut up the chicken breast. It must be tender and marinated for him to cut it up so easily, you know? All right, that's about done. Yeah, I love that clean, clean clanging sound, that old clanging, I love it. The, the aroma, the steam. The sizzle, the sound, everything. Oh, you can clink, 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 bang, 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 bang. I love it. You gotta love it. Now, see how it reduced? How it caramelized and, 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 and reduced as he cooked it? Look at that. Look at that. Hey, here comes more steam. Oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. That's right. Royal Abachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. And it's done. Boy, boy, la, boy, la, as they say in uh, French. We live to eat. We live to eat. Look at that, the finished product. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Hey, look at that. Oh, he's closing up the styrofoam. Look at that. Oh, oh it's maybe it's to go. It could be to go. And there it goes. This one's done too. Oh, it's sucking the shrimp. All right, that's done. I don't want to. I don't want to bore you people. We gotta check out this unagi roasted eel. Look at this unagi, beautiful. Roasted eel. It'll make you squeal. All right. I'll catch. I'm gonna have to catch that when I'm done with this. If there's any left, that and the uh, white um, um, white tuna. Okay. All right, there's ice cream action. Hopefully these. Well, I don't see any any um, obnoxious fatty arbuckle kids here today. You know that like to leave the door open too long. So that's a good thing. Okay. Luckily, nobody likes roasted eel. Nobody likes unagi except me. So I am going to... I wonder if Mr. Miyagi liked unagi. I'm the karate kid. Mr. Miyagi, Pat Morita, Commodore Jeff Sambello. This is roasted eel, Japanese style. Gabadoo, man. Roasted gabadoo, as he was saying in Italian. All right. Get some um, <clears throat> some white tuna, sashimi, like I normally do. Right. White tuna. Let me grab that one. That should be enough. 
Roasted eel, unagi, white tuna. I think I'm gonna do do the wasabi this time. Now, right, Commodore Jeff Zambello, we got the little sliced lab labia over here. I mean, uh, pickled ginger. Okay, the kimchi and the wakame salad I'm gonna leave. I'm not in the mood for that. Oh, he's putting out the broiled salmon filet, okay. All right, let me get some soy sauce. All right, the snow crab plus just came out. And the shrimp with the heads on, whole shrimp. Whole shrimp. Don't crimp the shrimp. Like Red Fox said on Sanford and Son, don't crimp the shrimp. Pat Marita also played Ah Chu. We got it, ran the ch Chinese takeout. All right. A young Pat Morita. Oh shit. Son of a bitch. Pat Morita, um, um, played many parts actually. He's on, um, The Art Couple. Um, yeah, Achu on Sanford and Son. Arnold. He was the original Arnold on Happy Days, and then uh, later on the Karate Kid. And then eventually he croaked. He assumed uh, room temperature. He took the big dirt sleep, the poor guy. The big dirt sleep. Hey, here come the, uh, I guess the Alaskan King Crab. Congrejo. King Crab Busters. Look at that, man. All right. All right, let me go, let me go back to my, my area here. There we go. Ice cream. Oh, got the. Uh, you got the you got the old ice cream going. The ice cream station. Oh my God. Well, at least the adults close it. You know, unlike the kids. They try to climb in here, for God's sakes. You know? There's, um... There's a fatty arbuckle. Uh, it's, uh... Well, I don't see the deluxe seafood salad. And I do see calamari, but there, I only see the rings. I don't see the tentacles. So, you know, I'm going to have to settle for some tentacles. All right, with marinara sauce on it. All right. It's starting to get real full. Get some, put some marinara sauce on there. Things are... It's still raining out, but drizzle, just a light drizzle. I actually like the flavor of the tentacles better, but you know, I have to make do. Oh, Arabic rice, there you go. More surf and turf. succulent pieces of lamb in here there you go oh this is beautiful man. you got the old sacrificial lamb eventually comes out A lot of lamb in that Arabic rice. You got you got a fish for it. 
Not the only lamb I'm gonna find here today. There we go. So we have a different different sort of surf and turf, calamari tentacles with marinara sauce. And uh Arabic rice, liver and almonds, chickpeas, spices, uh, lots of lot, lamb in there, but you gotta you gotta fish for it. I mean, you gotta search for it. And, uh, no, I don't see any Mongolian barbecue action. All right, ice cream. The coconut battered shrimp. Nah, that's enough for me. That's enough for me, man. Um, oh, the oysters are back. Uh, Commodore Jeff Zambell. Oh, shucks. Shucks oysters. Oh, shucks. Shucks oysters. Yeah, shucked oysters. Let me let me go around the other way. Yeah. So raining out. All right. This is it before before I get the ice cream. Shucked oysters. Look at, look, look at what the general public did to that beautiful, perfect tray leche cake. Look at, they made a cave out of it. Look at it. Instead of cutting it straight, they went, they dug underneath it. Unbelievable. People, you gotta, you gotta love people today. I, I'm being sarcastic. You know what I mean? Okay, here. Ice cream here at the ice cream station. What am I gonna have? What flavor am I gonna have this time? I don't know. Ugh. Oh my god. Maybe even oh French vanilla maybe? I could get rainbow sherbet though. Right? I could wait, what's going on here? I could get rainbow sherbet. I could get chocolate sherbet mint, but I had that last time. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have plain old vanilla. How's that sound? Or maybe I'll do Commodore Jeff Zimbel. Maybe I'll do the penguin. Maybe I'll do the penguin from Batman. Oh my god. Oh, this is nice and hard. Oh, I think this is, wait a minute. I think that's French vanilla. Oh, this is really hard ice cream. That's because there's no fatty or buckle kids here. Oh my god. Oh my God, this is, I mean, it's great, but please, look at that. Not good for a photograph, though. You know, some people today actually believe that the earth is flat. You believe that crap? Speaking of flat ice cream, it's a flat foot floozy with the floy floy here, right? Hey, there's another. Oh, Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on. You know what? I'm too lazy today to do a penguin. <clears throat> you know what? I call it the, this the flat foot floozy French vanilla ice cream display. Why the hell do they call it French vanilla? I have no idea. It's kind of weird looking. What's, hey, what side do you need? This side or that side? I have no idea. Uh, I need to try it. It's uh, French vanilla, coffee, dark chocolate. Over here we got, hey, what's going on here? Wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I see, somebody broke the, the handle. 
Oh shit. Chocolate chip mint, rainbow sherbet, uh, cookies and cream, cream and cookies. Oh. Oh man. I got. There you go. Uh, okay, here we go. Try to scoop it perfectly, but. This is the weirdest. This is the weirdest scooping job I ever did. No, I was not the well, that's it. French vanilla ice cream. As weird as it may look. Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West Saddlebrook. Take care, folks. Have a good weekend and a good, good safe week. Good, safe, healthy week. But just don't eat ice cream non-stop. It won't be so healthy. <laughs>